so hello everyone Srikant again so you may ask your questions if you have anything regarding my topics or topics after that so we have selected RC Surat uh, my doubt is on the morning session uh, I need to know about how to install APK files on Android emulator on Android emulator have you not tried ADB install APK name no sir, we have tried it before but not got it correctly. Can you please tell me what kind of error you are getting? Yeah, actually we try to set a path for uh, platform plugin. Platform and then tools. we have uh, tried a command called ADB. Yeah, yeah, platform tools and we have tried a command called ADB space install then followed by the apk file name dot uh, extension apk. No, I want, I am interested in what kind of error you got. Unable to install and then followed by some failure message. Yeah, the most obvious reason for that is your APK is already installed. So you might you may try adb install hyphen r, then your APK name. Sorry, sir. Actually, we have tried to install Clicker software, uh, Clicker APK. It is not yet installed before. See, because if you are getting a failure message, that means your adb is working fine, and there is something problem with your installation. The, the the default way how it works is uh, when you install anything, it, it, it ex, uh, expect that there is no previous version of that application. So to override that, you have to use adb install space hyphen r then apk name. Double one five two Saint Joseph College. Okay, I want to know about the uh, is the Akash tablet can be used as an emulator. Emulator is different and Akash tablet is different. Uh, I didn't get your question right. Means Akash tablet is real hardware. Uh, if if you want to use Akash tablet as emulator, doesn't that doesn't make any sense? Means emulators are virtual machines, so uh, they are totally different. Uh, I think you mean that you want to use Akash tablet as an emulator. Means like you run your uh, Eclipse program, it automatically runs in your emulator. Same thing you want to do with Akash tablet. So assuming that your question is this, I will answer to this. Just connect Akash tablet via USB and instead of emulator, it will automatically take your Akash tablet as the hard, uh, device. So I think that's a default way by which Eclipse work. Double one, double two, NJR Institute, Udaipur. Uh, I have a question. Uh, if I have an external APK file and I want to run it in any emulator, is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Using ADB, you can run it on emulator also. I know how. Uh, how exactly means I don't have an emulator right now, but uh, you can. Uh, you just you just invoke an emulator session, and then just uh, do ADB devices, and it will detect your ADB. Uh, it will detect your emulator device. Then you just do ADB install like you did for Akash tablet. So you want to know how to invoke an uh, emulator without using Eclipse, right? I am using Eclipse, but the dot uh, apk file is uh, from another source I had made. Yes. So let the let the emulator be open. Let the Eclipse emulator which you have which you have invoked let it be open, and from the command line window you just type ADB devices and look for the emulator device it will show emulator 554 554 or something like that then you do adb install your apk which you have downloaded from somewhere else to that emulator does it answer your question okay thank you 1195 vansal college sir uh, the question is that uh, you give a course and of object animator in your ppts i uh, try to implement in my program but uh, there is a error in set duration method uh, this uh, they give that set duration is not a correct method and uh, i disable this uh, error check in the eclipse then uh, the program is not running properly can you do some suggestions to me set. sir actually the error is that uh, uh, this uh, method do not found set duration are you talking yes, about sir, they, yes. they give that set duration is not a method this is because you might have specified as a parameter number of milliseconds right Yes, sir. I give uh, millisecond, thousand millisecond. And one thousand after you have to write f because it takes as a, a parameter float values. So uh, 
if you have specified 1000.0 or something, then uh, it might take it as a double value. So it might not downcast it uh, on its own. So you have to specify F after it. Is, that a, is this my system error? Uh, no, not specifically system error, but um, there might be some coding problem. You might uh, take th an example of uh, that the code I will be sharing so you can play around with it. Uh, so you might uh, might have some typos in that, or you might have not specified the uh, float value. You might have specified some double double value. So it might be the, some error with that, with a typo or something. Means uh, uh, the parameter of animation object are wrong. Yeah, let's discuss this on discuss this on Moodle um, because I might have to see the code what you are writing. Uh, so let's you can post it on Moodle. Okay. Sir, thank you for holding Moodle and this workshop. Thank you. One one four five, KME Engineering College. Hello. We are doing our uh, Android project in uh, the Eclipse framework. Uh, it is actually a chemistry lab simulation, and uh, we are uh, we are planning to do some animations in it. Uh, and if I do those animations in Blender, uh, will I be able to use it in uh, Eclipse? And if so, then how? You can uh, you cannot use the Eclipse uh, uh, animation on an Eclipse file. You can have the blend uh, dot directly AVI as an output, or can have an interactive file and can directly run on the uh, Android device. As a Blender player is available uh, free open source, you can directly have a dot blend file play on the tablet or the Android device or you can get a AVR or a video output. So what about what about the coding and all? Uh, the coding part uh, if you want the interactivity coding part it is done inside Blender itself in a Python uh, languages Python. So uh, can we do it in using Java? Uh, no it doesn't support Java it supports Python uh, it inside Blender itself. 1269 IRCEM Institute of Information Technology. Why are you using Blender player, APK, and not other players? Uh, other player, other players such as uh, if you want to play a video output such as AVR, MPEG4, we have a VLC media player or other media player as output. But Blender itself has a graphical user interface in 3D. So for the 3D rendering process. Each time when you each time when you are seeing uh, when you are doing something, it has to directly render into 3D. When we are doing the rendering process, rendering process, it's we are getting an output. So in a game, when we are creating a simulation, the simulation doesn't require output. It directly re directly render itself when we are when we are actually playing the file. So it requires the graphical user interface and a 3D engine behind it. So that's why we have to use the Blender APK, which is developed by the Blender uh, Foundation itself. And it uh, the other uh, player won't support the dot blend, uh, dot blend file. It will only support any video or a uh, media file. Sir, why we use Akash tablet for this workshop? Is there any other tablet? <coughs> tablet is just lost. Is there any tracking system to search this? Uh, by far, no. There is no tracking system, and is there any tracking system? If the tablet yeah, is blocked. Uh, yes, uh, I answered your second part. That is, there is no tracking system as of now. And coming back to your first question, uh, why only Akash tablet? Why not others? Yes, you can use some other Akash tablet compatible, uh, other compatible tablets which are as good as Akash. Like uh, Akash tablet uses A13. System on chip, all winner A13. You can look for similar A13 based Android tablets which are readily available in market for 3000 to 4000 rupees. And they work almost same as good as Akash tablet. You can, use, uh, you can use your phone, you can use any tablet for this development. There is no specific requirement that you have to use Akash only. 1075 DY Patil College, go ahead now. Now, what is the best way to render Blender model in Android and how to make an object visible at a particular uh, key, uh, key frame without moving it in a Blender? What is the best way to render Blender model in Android? Okay, uh, Blender model in Android. Uh, the best way to get is a 
you have a if you want non interactive uh, if you have a non interactive output such as a video file so you can directly render on a desktop as a video file and can uh, play it on android in any media player if you have a interactive if you have a interactive uh, uh, interactive simulation like i showed you the single replacement reaction then we have to use the blender player apk only there is no other option available for that uh, can you repeat your second question how to make an object invisible at a particular keyframe without moving it in a blender okay if you want to uh, that that is done in the uh, desktop that's a keyframing uh, you have to restrict its visibility so in the in the python script as well you have to de define its visibility at particular session so at particular key uh, uh, interval you have to you have to give a program command line visibility restricted or the true visibility or the false false visibility so that you have to define in the python language or you can do it in the logic brick as well you can set the visibility visible or non visible uh, yeah again one question can we have two canvas in an activity whether the performance of the graphics is high or low two canvas in one activities yes of course you can have uh, uh, so about the performance it totally depends on how you write your code uh, i have talked about about invalidation so more you invalidate more you redraw your canvas uh, the more uh, performance will degrade so uh, you must you must keep your invalidation count low so that uh, it only invalidates when only required so uh, yes so it uh, if you invalidate more it degrades your performance yes but two having two or more canvas does not uh, make any sense i mean uh, does not does not degrade your performance uh, so it totally depends on your coding style as compared to windows uh does android operating system supports better graphics performance as compared to windows uh it's a totally different thing uh, you can't compare both of them because windows uh is a high level fully desktop operating system and android is a mobile operating system so uh android uh, does have a uh, fewer apis uh, i mean the apis are rich but uh, in windows you get for example direct x uh the drivers you can have direct access to the low level drivers uh, so your performance might improve but again on the android part you have ndk so you can write your c++ code on android so that is more advanced topic to improve your performance inside android so yes if you use uh, these things and compare it with windows so windows might be having a good performance because since it is a desktop os One one six zero. Hello. First of all, I want to say that I am not asking any doubt about the sessions still taken. Uh, my doubt is that I have developed one GPS application in Eclipse. Uh, it is it just doesn't have any error. GPS APK was installed and emulated, but unfortunately, the Uh, it is displaying that while it is running it is displaying that unfortunately your application was closed uh, uh, it is displayed this message is displayed what is the reason uh, let me let me repeat your question you have developed an application which uses gps data and you want to test that application on emulator right your emulator doesn't have any gps hardware you should try it on a real phone or tablet which supports gps hardware i think that's the primary reason i can think of right now so it happens if you if you invoke a camera module from your uh, if you wrote a camera program in eclipse and try to run it on emulator it doesn't show up same thing with gps even gps you require a real hardware to try it on you can check it in logcat yes 1016 kj somya Mumbai. Okay, sir, sir, my app which wants to list all the uh, intent filters of all the apps installed on my uh, device. So by which for which I am using a package manager, which is a class. But uh, all the intent filters of all the all the apps, it is it is not displayed displayed by the package manager. And I have seen that it has been displayed by 
uh, the ADB shell. So, is there any alternative to use the ADB shell's commands in a device by which I can list all the intent filters of all the apps installed on my device? Uh, what do you mean by intent filters? Uh, I, I didn't get your first part. It can be termed as a gateway by which I can manipulate or use the another application installed on my device. For that, I required intent filter for which uh, I have to pass a package manager as an uh, parameter to a method which could gives me an uh, intent filter as an output. So, for which I required list of package managers installed on my device. So, basically, you want to list all the APKs, uh, all the packages on your device. Yeah, so ADB shell PM uh, list packages does that for you? Well, does that for me, but I want uh, to it to execute it during the runtime. That is when my app runs on my device. Yes, so you can write a small bash script which will do for you. So you can, <coughs> what you can do exactly is uh, install your APK, check for your APK in the top process. So just grab that portion and then write a bash script which will check that if that app has in the highest priority means the latest PID is your app only, then do this. So what you want to do, you want to list the package manager that your app is there or not, is it? Okay, but sir, uh, how to get the output of bash script and use that in my Java code? Uh, that is a difficult, uh, that is a different topic, means uh, that totally depends on what kind of application you are developing, I am talking about ADB shell through that way. Uh, so actually I do not have any clues how to do it on Eclipse. Thank you. 1032 Mufakkam Jha College, Hyderabad. What is the advantage of uh, using Linux? Uh, using GNU Linux basically gives you freedom, that is everyone know, but development of Android and Android related similar open source project is much easier in native mode. When we say native mode, we mean Linux kernel. See Android also shares Linux kernel. GNU Linux also has a Linux kernel, so it is easy for, easy to bridge both them, uh, easy to bridge. So whatever you, means it is easy to uh, set up a development environment on a Linux machine rather than Windows. And as I said before, uh, there are plenty of open source operating systems, mobile operating system, tablet and desktop operating system dominating the market. So there will be a good advantage if you use GNU Linux as your default operating system. Is that your question? Yes sir, thank you. One more question sir. Yes, yes, please. Sir, is there any any MATLAB, MATLAB or other softwares that can be provided on uh, Akash or any Android uh, there is a, uh, peripherals? Yeah, there is a Scilab running on Akash which you can use. Scilab is an open source equivalent for MATLAB. So, Scilab port is already available, you can uh, you can just look for apl.apk in our repository and that will that will help you. So, you can run MATLAB codes on Akash. The package name is APL, Akash Programming Lab. 1090 KCS. Uh, hello sir, now you teach how to uh, draw studio object by using OpenGL. Can you explain how to draw the 3D object shape OpenGL method? So, I have explained uh, how to draw on canvas. So, uh, there is an GL surface view inside Android. So, similar to what we have extended view uh, and we have got the reference of canvas, we need to get a reference of GL surface view. And then we can use the APIs, open GL APIs like uh, GL translate X, GL rotate X, etc. Uh, if you know open GL, then you can easily uh, port your application to Android because they are the similar APIs and the same concept works here. Uh, so, first you will need to learn uh, what is uh, the OpenGL, basics of OpenGL. So, uh, once your app is, uh, once you know OpenGL, you can easily develop your app. Similar to what we have seen in Canvas, you can use uh, GL, surfa GL surface view and, and yes, and you can render your application in. Sir, uh, will you share API? Yes, so that is. Uh, Similar to what we used APIs in Canvas, so there is a whole set of API which is, um, uh, you, uh, there is a, for example, I will give a few function names, for example, GL translate X, GL rotate, 
etc. So you need to pass the parameters and that API, if you want to get a full reference of that API, you can check the developer Google, uh, Android developer site uh, d.android.com. So there is a full set of API. And if you know GL, there will not be any difficulty in learning that APIs. So the main idea is to learn the OpenGL. 1121 SVP Engineering College, Vishakapatnam. Blender tools, how, are you, how can I use sir? Um, Blender tool is uh, used for 3D and uh, 3D animations and game uh, uh, simulation creation for the desktop. And uh, it is used for the desktop application as a desktop application. But you can have a, uh, the dot blend file can use on the uh, Android device as a with the Blender player. If you install Blender player, you can directly use those blend file for the Android on the Android device. Yes, triple one to SVU College of Engineering, Chitor. Why Android tablet doesn't have a Bluetooth facility? Is there any provision for this? This Akash tablet doesn't have Bluetooth facility, but you can connect an external dongle, Bluetooth dongle, and you can use Bluetooth. 1207, Jawaharlal Institute, Madhya Pradesh. Sir, my question is, what is keyframe animation? So, in my session, I have explained you uh, about the time interpolator and type evaluator, right? So, time interpolator gives you uh, at which input time uh, you can tweak that time in some way. So, keyframe animation uh, gives a pair, uh, key and value. So, uh, at which time you want your property, uh, at, at which time you want your property at which value. So, for example, at time equal to sum, uh, some milliseconds, for example, 500 milliseconds, you want, you want your property to be some value, for example, x, or for example, if it is an integer value, you want it to be 5000, for example. And at some other time instance, for example, at 1500 milliseconds, you want some other values, right? So that is a keyframe, for example. Uh, so in, in the entire duration, you specify those key, key values, key and value pairs. So at that, that key and value pair, uh, you will get the desired value. So you're uh, in between uh, the, all the, all the at, at the time between two keyframes will be interpolated linearly. So you can get the interpolated value. So that is the use of keyframe. So you don't, you won't use the time interpolator. So what is the use of Blender tool for the students? For the student, uh, Blender, uh, using Blender, you can create uh, animations and uh, 3D simulations. For student, it is helpful to uh, get the perspective of the 3D environment, how the front view, side view, and the get the depth of the knowledge. As a, three di as a third dimension, we can have a working knowledge of the 2D dim two dimension as a XY plane, but using Blender, you can have a third dimension knowledge for the engineering, if the, uh, for it is very useful for the engineering students who have the draw subject as an engineering drawing as a subject for they can learn the third dimension, the basic perspective, uh, difference between perspective and orthographic view and can learn about what the third dimension is, the how the depth of the object can be created. So you told about the programming, uh, they, uh, they data develop on the Android device or not? Okay, uh, is this the programming data on Android device? Yes, sir. Programming data on Android device, the programming file, the Blender setup itself runs on the desktop. And then you can transfer the file on the Android device. So your code, uh, programming data, you mean code, is not actually on your Android device. Android device just contains, uh, as it is explained earlier, it, you have to install the APK. So your program data does not transfer to your uh, Android. 1056. Sir, how to import SQLite Manager into Eclipse? So we had covered this uh, data storage uh, session last week. Uh, and the, if I understand your question correctly, how to import SQLite Manager on the uh, Android, right, on the Eclipse? So, I mean, there are already APIs available which already support this SQLite uh, uh, operations. So, I, what I'll suggest you is, please visit the Moodle, please visit the GitHub 
where all uh, training material has been uploaded along with the videos that how to code in a SQLite. So with using that, you can definitely understand how to uh, do all operations using the SQLite on the device. I hope that answers your question. Please go through the video material and training material which has been uploaded on GitHub. Thank you.